Hey, what a fucking do, it's your boy, Diddy Hop. Yep, I'm back. It's been a while, how you doing? How are the kids? Just kidding, I know you're a virgin. You like this new backdrop, huh? My door is fucking gone now, so I'm making Juan rotoscope me out manually. I don't know where the fuck my door went, I think Neville used it to make more door coin, the bastard. Anyway, since returning from space, I've been doing a lot of catching up on YouTube and... Oh. Oh no. What a fucking welcoming committee this is. I've been gone for what, a week? And now YouTube is advertising porn. Hey man, it's, uh, it's been a year. Excuse me. Now, that's some bullshit. Look, if you look at my birthday video, it is... Uh, oh. Shit. Well, let's ignore that existential dread for a while, because my god have I got some shit to show you. Starting with YouTube. Susan, what the fuck is this? Hey, uh, Susan left. There's some man in charge now. How much fucking shit did I miss? These not safe for work ads have been inescapable for me lately. These are plastered all over the YouTube app, like big fucking banners. It's so bad that I'm genuinely afraid of opening the YouTube app in public. It's fucking mental to me that all of these ads are getting past YouTube's crack theme of highly trained moderators. Hello, fellas. I'm not the only one who's noticed this. Look at this tweet by some ordinary gamers. Makes a good point though. YouTube's algorithms are so complex that they can detect whether or not swearing has occurred at specific time periods, and yet they're incapable of applying the same standards to ads. Guys, I've figured out how to beat YouTube's demonetization system if you know what I mean. Let's browse YouTube right now and see how many sus ads we get. Amogus. Literally right out the gate we have a furry girl. Uh, uh, what? We can't show the full picture in an ad. I wonder why. Oh my god, become a weed tycoon? Oh, that's pretty cool. Don't be, don't be silly, gamers aren't dating anyone. Alright lads, if you're into uh, BBWs, I've got just the thing. Oh my god, I can get my own waifu now. Wow, YouTube really wants me to date a BBW. Well, I'm glad she's righteous, otherwise this would be pornography. I get stranger danger energy from this one. Most of these fucking ads come from bloody Queensblade. Look, I'm not looking to date anyone, BBW or otherwise. The Temptations of Jesus Christ by the Devil. Ha. Huh. Seems fitting. You know, I think it's unfair to rag on just YouTube for this. I mean, have you seen this one around? Oh my god, an AI girlfriend. Wow! Look at this, she even does roleplay and sends NSFW pics from here. Uh, I don't know where here is. And what the fuck, is on YouTube too? Okay, I guess it is okay to rag on YouTube for this. You know, this replica app, it seems pretty interesting. Shit, Juan, don't keep that in. Hey, do you remember the adpocalypse? That was pretty fucked, wasn't it? It's crazy how post-adpocalypse YouTube's content has become so much more sterile and regulated. With any content that breaks the rules being hit with the long, cheesy, cum-soaked cock of demonetization. Try to demonetize me, bitch. I'm not even a partner. YouTube is so great these days, bruh. It applies its regulations so clearly, preventing any rule bending or breaking from occurring. Whether it be complex, automated, beepy boopy algorithms, or their excellent team of highly trained moderators that are totally real and really exist. YouTube sure is proof that rules and regulations really work. Unless you're an advert, of course. YouTube is desperate for them since Disney pulled out. This video was brought to you by xnxx.com. Oh, fuck you.